round three. Very interesting one. We have set four queen versus set one Zorro. Zorro and red in general did not get a lot out of set four, but queen uh, got its leader and a whole bunch of very interesting tools. So queen is a control deck with just an absurd amount of triggers and the ability to heal itself at uh, four or less cards total between life and hand. The queen can either draw a card or put the card in life if they have something that costs eight or more. So queen can actually get into a loop where Zoro just can't deal enough damage. If queen just uses the yellow or the blue boss monsters, keep the board in a simplified state, every damage the leader Zoro does, queen just heals. So, and with an absurd amount of triggers that are blockers like Sanji and Brulee and Boa, this game could last quite a while and Zoro might get starved out because there's very little chance that Queen is going to be attacking in the early game. So we are going to go ahead and get started here. We see the fist bump of game beginning and Zoro's going to go first. Will we see a one drop come down from Zoro? The odds are ever in the favor that we will in fact see a one drop come down. We see Buggy who is impervious to slash. Now Queen does not care. Queen is a ranged, I believe. Queen is not a slash and that's all that really matters here. Buggy looks at the top five to play, or not to play, to add an event card, a red event card to hand, then bottom decks the rest. Looks like we're going to get a Red Hawk. Now, Buggy is a 1-3, has no counter power, but is very strong against leaders who have the slash type, like Zoros, for example. And you see some decks, like Kinemon, who have to just run subpar cards so that they can answer cards like Buggy. Otherwise, it just runs the board for the entire game. We see Queen draw pass. This is pretty standard. Queen doesn't really have much in terms of low end. That isn't a three-cost blocker. Or Capones, I suppose. Queen has a lot of top end, a lot of boss monsters, and we might get to see several of those come down. So we're going to see one Dawn on Zoro. Standard. Very standard. And then we can put one on the buggy too. And this will give Queen something to swing at. We see five come across. Going to go ahead and counter out of that with the boa. Six from the Zoro will be responded to with a take it. And we see one bad day Sanji coming off of the life. He's a four five. Queen discards a card and gets to play this four five blocker on the trigger. Very powerful card. Izo looks at top five and just immediately puts them all to the bottom. That was that was a whiff of an Izo for sure. All right, Queen is on four Dawn. And probably just going to go five across the table at the buggy. I don't believe the buggy is going to be protected here, so down it goes. And then we're going to pay four for a Boa, like the one we just saw get discarded. And we see quite a bunch of boss monsters in that queen's hand. So if queen can make it to the 8 and 10 Don turns, we're going to see a lot of large bodies hit the floor. So Zoro, we see just 5 come across the table here. No Don on the Zoro means that we are going to spend this 5 Don on something else. We're going to counter out with, it looks like a Manga Soga King. My goodness. We need to do it justice and put the manga one on the screen for you. And then we see Marco come down. Good old five drop Marco. Queen goes to six Don, puts two on the leader, and swings. Very interesting. You don't often see Queen do that. Oh my goodness, are we going to see a jet pistol or a red hawk off the life? Ooh. Ooh, we see a fire fist off the life, clearing the boa who could have drawn a card this turn. Kind of just punishing the queen for choosing to be a little bit more aggressive there. You know, if you're the queen player, you hate to see it, and if you're the Zoro player, you're pretty happy to see it. So, we've got Marco to attack with this turn. We've got our leader to attack with.
And we're going to go ahead and fix that. That it, This is actually just how you spell queen, is D-O-F-L-A-M-I-N-G-O. -O. That's uh, French for queen. And we're going to see six come across the table at the Doflamingo leader here. And we're just going to take it, and it looks like it is another potential trigger. Which one is it? This It's Capone. Capone is a wild card out of the new set. You just choose one of your opponent's cards, and it just can't attack you. Really, really powerful card. And then we see a buggy come down. Adds an event card. I couldn't quite see which event card that was. And we still have five Don to play with as Zoro. We see Teach come down. Interesting. I, I don't know that I've seen Teach in many Zoro decks. Teach is a Teach is a 4-6. Uh, when attacking, you can trash a red character and play with four power or more. You draw a card, and then this character gains plus one. So he's a 4-7 that can trash your buggy, for example, who gets buffed by your leader effect. Very interesting. Meant to work with the thatch from the same set, but we'll gain some value out of it in exchange for the buggy. Uh, we see queen come across the table, and then it looks like we're just gonna... We put all of our eight Dawn together. So we've already told our opponent that we have Katakuri in hand. The question is, will we be using it? Will... Now, which one do you choose? Marco or Teach? Both are very solid choices. Neither one is all that amazing, but the Teach does not have counter power, meaning if you put that at the bottom of the life, then your opponent will not get to use it in a counter. We're going to put it at the top of the life, or maybe that's the bottom of his life. I think that might be the bottom of his life. He just has it in a in a different orientation. Which makes sense. Now when you're going for game on Zoro, it makes your math a lot easier because you know the card off the life doesn't counter for any amount. So Zoro going into 9 Dawn turn. Queen has 2 life left where we've already established an 8-drop on the board, so our leader effect is live the moment we get low enough in resources. And remember that number, the magic number is four between our hand and our life. So we put a Dawn on Zoro. We're going to go ahead and play another buggy. Just lots of buggies in this one. It looks like there are a couple options in the hand. It's very difficult to see. Nope, actually there are zero options in the hand. Never mind. Okay, so buggy whiffed, Izo whiffed. You see this a lot more in recent times. The one drops from Zoro are whiffing because you're mixing several different archetypes together. And sometimes you'll see the Whitebeard Pirates on the buggy search and the event cards on the Izo search. But it is unfortunately just how it goes. We're going to put one on the buggy and we swing for five. It's just, it's so strong, this buggy card in Zoro, because it's a 3k, Zoro's leader effect makes it a 4k, so it's a one Don investment for an attacker. It's not bad at all. Then we've got Izo coming across the table as 5. That one was not a counter, or not a, uh, not a trigger. Okay, you see the attack come through, not a trigger as well. Marco, we're going to see Sanji block, and another Teach comes down. Hey, Queen will have the ability to potentially heal this turn, but if, if that hand is flooded with big cards, then Queen will not be able to heal. It looks like... I believe that Queen is in a lot of danger right now. We see the swing with the Queen, and no leader effect, because we have too many cards in hand. We see the 8 go after the buggy, realizing that it's pointless to go after the Marco. And we see Yamato come down, gets rid of a buggy, and then puts the life... That's, that's interesting. I 
I believe that the teach was something he could have gotten rid of there, because there are four life between the two of them. Yeah, there were four life between the two of them before the Yamato resolved and healed. So I think the teach might have been the the more appropriate target there, but the teach was a little a little far down. Maybe he didn't register that it was on the board. So we'll see how this goes. Zoro has three attackers, not counting any potential rush. So we just need a couple. Gonna need a hero here. Red Rock. That is not going to be enough, I don't think. I think we're just going to, as Steven likes to say, pants up the Zoro. Yeah, and it's over. We're going to. We're just going in at this point. Yep. Uh, unfortunately for Queen, Queen got flooded with all the top end and was not able to get down to the right number of cards in hand. The last few life weren't triggers. They weren't counter power. They were just top end, just boss monsters that you can't do anything with. So you're sitting on six cards in hand, meaning that on the turn where you want to play nine drop Yamato and you want to use your leader effect to heal two damage, you just couldn't. Um, that is unfortunate, but that is how it goes sometimes. So we saw a very quick game there. Zoro taking the win. Um, we will try to grab a side event to put on camera here in a little bit, and we will get back to you very shortly. Thank you.